Good morning, Ziggy. Come here. Sit. Good morning. Good morning again. Saying good morning when you guys probably aren't watching this in the morning. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Well, for me at least, it's a happy Monday. I did all of my really good reset stuff last night, so I'm feeling super, super fresh. Woke up to a clean kitchen, no washing. I just woke up feeling fresh. It's Monday, the 10th of January. I have a very, very busy day ahead of me. Harper's in the back. We have just had a feed and are heading to the gym. It's strength day today, which I am honestly loving. If you've followed me for a while, like all my old content, I have always loved HIT. HIT has been my favorite type of training. Fat burning, burn as many calories as I can, blah, blah, blah. The classic weight loss aim, basically. But since starting at my new gym at BioFit, I have really, really embraced lifting heavy weights. And I've always said, like, I don't like lifting, like, weights is boring because I've always just done weights, like, at the gym, on the machines, like, a few different machines, and I would get really bored really quick. But weightlifting, like, in these classes are, is amazing. I'm getting strong. I'm, like, learning and... Yeah, I'm just really, really enjoying it. So today we're doing deadlifts and it's like three reps. So I'm going to try and get my one rep max today and see how strong I am or how not strong I am, I should say, because I'm really not that strong yet. So it's a really good benchmark. Like whilst in January this month, I want to figure out what my one rep max is for deadlifts, back squats and snatch and just find out where I am what that looks like and see where I'm starting. Have you just done a poop? Are you doing a poo poo? Are you doing a poo? Pretty sure she's just done a poo. So that's fine. I can change that when we get to the gym. Which means I really got to leave. I was hoping I'd have a few minutes to chat before but now that I have that to deal with when we get there. But I have a really really busy day. I'm going out for coffee with a friend. I have an appointment for her. She's got a six month checkup and injections which is never fun because she's always a nightmare for like four days after her injections so i'm expecting not a very good night's sleep tonight but last night was amazing so i can't complain but yeah a busy day so let's go It is 20 past 11. I've been to the gym. I had a really good session. I'm going to talk to you about some PBs later. But I'm just meeting up with a friend for a coffee. I'm a little bit nervous. It's someone I haven't seen in a long time. And we actually were not friends for a while. Um, and are sort of reconnecting. So, I don't know. I feel a bit, like, nervous. But... Harper has just had a nap. She slept for half an hour, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna get her in the pram and we're gonna go in and have coffee. Okay, it's a little bit later. It is like, I don't know, 10 past two. Harper is currently asleep, which I'm very thankful for, but I'm a little bit stressed because we have a doctor's appointment for her in one hour, well, less than an hour, 50 minutes. And I really don't wanna wake her up for it, but I think I'm gonna have to because I don't think she's gonna wake up in time. I also wanted to make the bed, but someone is having the best little chill here, so I'm just leaving him. 
to chill. I'm a bit all over the place today, if I'm honest with you. But I have... Oh, I need to water my plants. <laughs> that was on my things. Where's my phone? I got this app, and it's amazing. It is called Greg, and it tells me when to water all of my plants, like my indoor plants. So Greg says that, like I literally, like I've got all my plants here, and I have named them. So Captain Plant It, which is my peace lily, who's just here. She does look a little bit sad. She needs 132 mils of water. Basically just take a photo of the plant, and you say what size pot it's in, and it tells you exactly how much to water it. So then literally, you just say, yep, I watered. And then it just tells you what else needs doing. So basically all of my indoor plants need watering. But I'm just going to do my fiddle and my philodendron birkin. This is like one of my favourite plants ever. Look how cute it is. Well, Christmas decorations that still need to be put away. Love that. So this one, it's a philodendron birkin and it plants from within itself. So like this new one, like, oh, can I see any? Oh, I don't think you can see any that are doing it. They like fold out from themselves though. They're really, really cool. And it's a really low maintenance plant too. So I'll put that in some water too. These two I just always pretty much do together and I just let them sit. Going to click watered. And then this one I really should take out of the pot every month or so and just let it drain. But she's thriving. Two new leaves recently. I do think I'm gonna have to take her out soon though because it looks like it's getting like a little bit. Oh, it's so nice though. It used to, like you can see that it, it was doing really bad and was like all of this used to be leaves too. But since getting my app, I've got new leaves. So I'm feeling very proud. Now I have decided I'm going to set my alarm for 15 minutes and do some reading. I'm really struggling to get into this book. And it's funny because I feel like it was really raved about and I was like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. And then I watched Rachel Catherine's like 50, uh, 80 books that she read in 2021. And she said that she found it really like, she wasn't very invested in the characters and it was not a top book of hers and it really made her second think like Sally Thorne as an author. And I just 100% agree. And I, I just feel like everyone really raves about it and I'm really struggling to get into it. I'm like 62 pages in, which is like nearly 20% through the book. And I just feel like it is not really grabbing me at all. And I just feel like nothing's really happened yet. Like, I don't know, I'm just bored. So I'm going to give myself 15 minutes to try and read a few more pages and just I'm really hoping that soon it gets interesting because I just feel like every chapter so far has just been like the same. Like they've just bickered and that's it so far. So yeah, let's hope that it gets better because I'm struggling and I really struggle to finish books that I'm not enjoying. Like some people, like Rachel <laughs> and other book top, booktube people that I listen to and like they can read a whole book that they only rate a two star out of five and I can generally only get through like 100 pages and then I really give up. So I'm trying really hard to push through. Hopefully this book gets better. <laughs> okay, it is five to three and I officially regret bringing, not bringing my Kindle with me. I might have to do some reading through my phone, which I don't really enjoy, but I do have the Kindle app so I can do it that way. But I've just arrived at the doctor for Harper. Her appointment is in five minutes, but there are so many cars here. I have a feeling we will not be getting her appointment on time, which just sucks. Like, I know there's like nothing we can do about it, but I just have a feeling we're gonna be waiting a long time. Um, we have to wait in our car. I don't know if it's the same everywhere. Like, I don't know what other states do or what the deal is everywhere else at the moment, but here at my doctor in Adelaide, we have to wait in our car and then the doctor calls us and then we're allowed into the practice. So that's what we're doing. She woke up from her nap. I don't think she was ready to wake up, but she'd rolled over and like woke herself, I think. So she's tired still. 
I've got to leave the car on because it's 33 degrees. There's no way I can turn the car off and not have aircon. And I'm just a little bit like stumped about how I'm going to keep a six month old happy in the car for what could be like a 40 minute wait. But what I wanted to discuss was the two PBs that I made at the gym today because I'm very proud of myself. Now, I can't even remember what my goals were fitness wise, like gym wise for my deadlift. But today I hit 60 kilos, so I'm feeling quite proud of myself. I think I could maybe have gone heavier, but we didn't have time. Like it was eight minutes on each exercise and it was a you go, I go. So we built up to that weight. But my brother da is buying, far out, I can't talk. My brother has just bought some, a bar and some weights. So I'm gonna go to his house soon, I think maybe this weekend, and we're going to get our one rep max for everything, specifically deadlifts, back squats and snatch is what I want to like work on and what I want to improve on throughout the year so that I can really see my growth so that's really exciting I felt really proud of myself and then also I did um, dumbbell chest press and I did 15 kilos on each arm which is just really heavy for me I think I used to do like eight kilos maybe back when I went to f45 so I'm feeling really good that I could go a little bit heavier I'm now also wishing I was going to bring my laptop to do editing and I was like, nah, there's no point. And I wish I did now because I could have edited all of this pretty much whilst I wait. But I'll update you guys on how long we end up waiting for my six month old to have her doctor's appointment. Update, it's only four minutes past three and she just called me. So we're going in and I'm stoked. Okay, it is like almost six o'clock. Hayden is at the gym and I... I'm just about to put a couple of cloth nappies in the wash. I do this at the end of every day, pretty much. I won't wash them yet, but I'm putting them in the wash so that after I put Harper down for her last sleep of the night, it can go on. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Cool tripod. So yeah, I always just get it ready so that then when we put it asleep, that last nappy of the day can go in. I'm going to do a video very, very soon, all to do with my cloth nappy routine. I'm going to talk about some brands that I use and I actually have a really exciting brand who have sort of teamed up with me a little bit for that video. So I'm very, very excited. Not showing you all the poo on these, but I know these literally just go straight in the wash as they are and then I will do the rest later. So yeah, I literally just chuck them all in like that and then I will put her last nappy of the day in there once she's in bed. Like I will change her into her night nappy and I'll get her to sleep and then when she's asleep I'll put the wash on and then they're clean for the morning. I also didn't realise until like an hour ago that netball has been cancelled. It's like 33 degrees and pretty much no one could make it because everyone's still sort of on holiday mode. Like they, everyone still had just like prior commitments. So netball's been cancelled and I'm not going to close my rings at this rate. I'm thinking I might go for a run because it is on my goals to do two runs this week and I always want to do my runs on a strength day and I have netball on Wednesday which is my next strength day so today would make sense but I was probably going to try and do it on the weekend but yeah I don't know it'll I'll only go for literally like one kilometer up because that's all I can really run at the moment so I'd only be gone for like less than 10 minutes so I don't know I'm thinking and because I'm not doing netball training, I'm definitely not going to reach my step goal, which is a bit disappointed. I've only done four and a half thousand steps today, so I'm a bit disappointed in myself, but also I haven't stopped all day. <laughs> like between the gym and then going out for coffee and then going to the doctors and then coming home. I just haven't really stopped at all other than like my 15 minutes where I read earlier. So yeah, I don't know. I'll get a few thousand, like a couple thousand steps in maybe if I do that. I'm just not sure. It'll all depend on how she is because she has now skipped her afternoon nap, which is not ideal, but she just wouldn't go down. So it'll depend how she is and how Hayden is when he gets home. If he's happy for me to go run around for 10 minutes, I might give it a go. I'm just really not very good at running and I'm not very confident at running. I just, yeah, I don't know. I get really impressed with people who never ever run and then just suddenly run like three or five K because I just can't do that. We'll see. Hayden's at the gym, he'll be home in like 40 minutes, so we'll see 
where we're at and if it's if I need to be giving her a bath already and getting her down then I'll do that but if not I'll go for a quick run and I'll take the dog with me as well okay I'm out for my run I've only done 650 meters but I have a stitch I shouldn't have come for a run like less than an hour after dinner my stitch is so bad <laughs> um, so my kilometer is definitely not going to be very good, but I'm going to keep going. Mistake number two, I've done no kind of warm up. I did strength this morning and I'm pretty sure I've almost just pulled a muscle. Like this one here, it hasn't quite pulled, but I can feel it pulling. So I don't know if I'm going to tick this off as doing a run or not, but I'm not going to do any more and I've done 860 metres. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Bit of a fail. I should try maybe in the morning. I don't know. Not my best effort, but you know what? I'm out here. It's beautiful. The dog's having a good run around, which he really needs. Diggy, come on. So, it is what it is. Okay, I did one kilometre in 8 minutes and 17 seconds. The dog is very confused. But look at that, how beautiful. It's like quarter to 7pm, so I definitely don't need to be doing anything else. So we're just going to walk home now. <laughs>